thank you so much for those of you that have booked a private reading with me. Unfortunately, uh, due to an availability, I will not be able to do readings, at least not until the end of June. Okay, so for those of you that are interested to book a private reading with me, I will um, I will inform you. Okay, you will you will know. Now, for those of you that care. In June 2018, I will be using the Bonfire Tarot. Okay, let me show you. This is the Lovers. Okay. It is a beautiful deck. The colors are stunning. The Ten of Cups. Okay. You will see it. You will see it. The Empress. Okay. I'm wishing you the best June ever. Mwah! Now. Let's move on to your reading. Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Taurus in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2018. Okay, let's see Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2018. Taurus. Two more shuffles. Thank you for being patient, but I always like to shuffle my deck on camera. Hope you understand. One more for you, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for June 2018. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Taurus. On the bottom of the deck, you have the hangman. Okay, and I'm hearing that you are... Big mm -hmm. Okay. You are starting viewing an issue from a different angle, okay? You're getting clarity. What was will never be again the same. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Let's see your cards. First card for you, the Nine of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The King of Swords. The Fool. Three of Swords. And finally, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You see, Taurus, here you or someone else has... <sighs> I do get a very, like, tiring and struggle energy with a lot of anxiety and uh, here with the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, Seven of Wands. Seriously, someone has given up. Rock bottom. This is what I hear. Okay. Someone was giving too much. For those of you that are dealing with air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I'm also hearing that. Okay, 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 okay. This has nothing to do with signs. 
because this could be anyone, okay? It could be an earth sign, a fire sign, an, a water sign, an air sign, whatever. This person, okay, that you are dealing with, Taurus, is a very cold or seems like very cold and detached. And you, from the other hand, you approach this person with a lot of warmth and a lot of positivity. You were very giving, Taurus. This could also be, of course, the other way around. But the Six of Pentacles here with the Nine of Swords is telling me that this situation was not balanced. Someone was giving more than they were receiving, okay? And still, this person, like, I'm getting, Taurus, that someone here has stopped, has put themselves in the Eight of Swords, not by chance, but here they are, like, they want, they, 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 they are aiming to be in this energy of the Eight of Swords, not doing anything, okay, because they have already done enough. So it's like, like what I'm hearing is that like, they, like they're pushing themselves to be in this position so they don't do anything extra, so they don't make another move and get a block. Okay. Because uh, there's a lot of pain here with the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. But what I like to see here is the Fool. That even though there, there's a lot of pain here and a lot of like anxiety and this feeling of not being good enough and not like this these energies have pushed this person to 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 take a leap of faith and walk away and have a new start for themselves okay and by by walking through this path of anguish and self control and patience and feeling all this you know, this is the Seven of Wands, totally. This, all this is the Seven of Wands. Yes. And by, by getting to this point of fighting all these energies and now, now, after all this, you know who you are. You know what you want, you have become a better version of yourself, okay? You have became, we be you became the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Someone that is very independent, that knows that they do not need anyone or anything to be happy. And I'm hearing for a lot of you out there, this, even though this was a very hard process, it's like, and it took time, okay? It took time for you to heal, but it was like a click. Like one thought, one moment, one instant, like you went like clack, and then you were, you were immediately from the Three of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Let me see now. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups. The Five of Cups. Okay, someone... Someone is waiting here, okay? Three of Pentacles, okay? Someone is waiting here for, um, okay, I'm hearing this word, collaboration. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. 
It's like uh, this person that went from the shift, from uh, this agony and uh, over extend ex extending extending yes overextending themselves, like. The, the, Even though they have decided to move away from this energy and still there is a, a, a piece of hope here that there will be a reconciliation for some of you, okay? I'm getting this, that someone here is waiting for an offer, but this offer has not come in yet. Because they are feeling the Five of Cups. I'm hearing that some of you out there, okay, you believe, you have this feeling like this, your instinct is telling you that if you let this go, it will come back to you. And I really believe that for a lot of you, this will be the case, that you will move, that you will leave this behind and when you do this, it will come back to you, okay? But in other cases, what you are leaving behind, you have to leave behind and shut finally this door so something new will come in your life that will be what you desire, what you have wished for, okay? The world, the king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, and the ace of cups, and the nine of cups, and this is what I, what I, exactly what I told you, okay, that many of you really believed that this was the right person, and yes, you will know very like very fast you will know you will get your answer very soon right if this person was meant to be with you or not because if they do not show up how long are you willing to wait for them to make this offer how long would you stay in this five of cups energy when you have this beautiful relationship coming in your future, something that is very stable. See, we have the couple here, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is a couple. And this is the Ace of Cups. So if this person does not return, if this person does not make the decision, does not take action toward your way, you will finally have your answer. But you have to listen. Listen, close the door, and you have new love here waiting for you. And this is not just any love. This is your Nine of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment, Taurus. Okay, now let's see what message will come through for you from the Whispers of Love. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2018, Taurus, this is your card, Taurus, do something for someone else, give your attention to someone else, I'm hearing clearly that you have to shift your attention from this person that has made you feel trapped, left out. You have to change your focus from this person to this other person that will come in your life very, very soon. So, yes. Now, let's see. <coughs> Sorry, what message will come through for Taurus? June 2018, this is your card, Taurus, okay, 
authority. Okay, very interesting. It's beautiful. Okay, the frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized yet receptive, wise, and loving. Again, here I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages regarding the Divine Masculine. And for some reason, I, I, I'm getting this here with this frequency. Like the Divine Masculine somehow is like... Yes, like they have these ego issues right at this time. And they're working on their ego. Okay, this is what I'm getting strongly with this card, with the authority card, okay? Okay, uh, Taurus, this is what I've got for you. If you did not uh, um, like this reading, or if this reading did not resonate with you, you can also watch your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Bye-bye, Taurus.